morning guys we are in a tunnel we are in a snow tunnel this is it <laughs> so what happens when snow is covering your car it's known in the night Sam just made us look at these egg and cheese mmm is it gross I've never tried it, but you just said egg and I almost barked. No, it's okay. like the thing that you egg get at Tim Hortons. Try it. I didn't taste Ew. egg. Try it. Did you try no. it? Mm. Dad tried to get me too last night and I didn't. Mmm. It is so good. Gabby, get back in the house and get out here with some food because you're not going to camp without breakfast. Go. I'll eat stuff for lunch. No, go. And a coat. And you have your coat, right? Where are you I going? She has to go back in and get some breakfast because she didn't eat anything. What do you want of those? She doesn't like eggs. I've lost her at eggs. I forgot something in the house. No, oh, wow. Okay. And we are off. We're off to a jumping horse camp. Every time it's a different kind of horse camp. This advanced. time it's advanced. Advanced meaning just jumping because Sophie's not advanced yet. I'm going. But she's going because Shayla's going and Shayla and her jump similar, similar heights, right? Same height. So anyway, we we're gonna drop them off and then Sam and I are gonna go home and do all the work that needs to get done. We're gonna muck the stalls and clean the barn and groom the horses. Joking, we're going shopping. We are going shopping. No, I'm not doing stalls. Stalls can wait till you get home. Spicy, Laura. Anyway, Gabby's starting to get really frustrated with Finn because Finn, it's like we're doing the same thing again and again and again and he just runs off. Like he just runs off and I finally said like, Something's gotta give. You can't keep doing the same thing expecting different results. He doesn't stop when she pulls back and so then she's having to pull and then it's just a fight between them. And so finally, I was like, this has gotta stop. <laughs> and so Fiona said, finally, like, let's change the bit. So we're gonna change the bit even though I didn't wanna do that. I didn't wanna, we're gonna try some different bits with him because clearly there's an issue that needs to be fixed. You guys agree? I feel let down, you guys. I feel like it let me down. Nobody has suggested this to me. And usually you guys are the ones that put all the information in my ear. Turn it into a horsewoman without you guys. Okay, so the very first stop of the day, I'm gonna tell you the story about what happened. But basically, I wanted bits. I, I, want, I always wanna collect bits. And the reason I wanna collect bits is because when we were at Fiona's before, and every time our horse needed to try another bit, which was like a million times, she would go to this box and pull out this box and she had all these bits and then I could try them without having to buy them. Like some of the bits that we bought are like $120 or $70. Like bits are not cheap. So I want my own box of bits. And, and I saw an ad on Facebook last night where this lady was selling a, like a massive pile of bits for $10 each. And I was like, I want them all. So I just messaged Fiona and I said, I want these bits. And she said, no. You don't even know what the bits are. You can't buy the bits. I'm like, I'm gonna buy the bits. So then I asked my friend, what bits should I buy? Because she knows more than me. So she's like, okay, buy these ones. So then I went to Cam today and I said, Fiona, I'm picking up some bits. And she said, oh my gosh, what bits are you getting? So then I showed her and she said, you can't get those bits. And so I said, okay, fine, but I'm buying bits. So you better show me what bits I can buy. So she showed me three bits that I could buy out of all of them. The lady had so many bits, $10 each. I wanted to buy them. I wanted a big box of bits. This is what I ended up getting. I, this is a snaffle. Wait, is this a snaffle? This is a snaffle, right? Yeah, we already have this, um, but it's a size five and I needed a bit for Sky because Stella has a slow twist and I don't want to use that on her. I want to use this. I wanted something. I'm learning about bits though. Like this has been an amazing journey. So I bought that one. And then I also got this D-ring. Whoops. Ah! Oh, crash us. Oh. So then I also got this D-ring. I don't know what that is. And it's a size five as well. But it looks huge to be a size five. But anyway, so I got those two. Those are the only two that she said I could get. And then I got this, I think it's a Kimberwick. And it's a size four and three quarters. And I don't know what it is. She said I could get it. I'm probably never gonna get to use it. But she said maybe it'll fit thin. And I don't know, I don't know anything. I'm gonna look them up though. So those are the ones that I got. I got three and I'm happy with them. Whenever I find something on sale, I buy it 
I always need, like, you always need stuff. And that's the one thing you guys are keep saying to me, like, stop buying stuff. But yeah, like, with horses, it's not just buy it and then you have it. It always has to change and they always need something else. She also has all these blankets. I looked at these blankets. I'm like, are you selling these blankets? And she's like, no. <laughs> and they're not up yet. She puts them all together and sells them in a big, huge group. So I have to watch for that because I want to buy all the blankets too. Okay, second stop, coffee definitely coffee but I also forgot to tell you guys I wanted to tell you yesterday that the channel horse X fails posted another video I showed I told you guys about them the other day they posted another video in it and and Gabby and I I think yeah Gabby and I are both in it like we're both in the video so you got to check that out I need new books for this term in school we're studying World War one and we study different things and sometimes I like to come to the second hand store because I can find all the books I need for a really cheap price. Problem is trying to find them because they're always buried in big huge piles like this. And then I have this guy walking around pacing. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Let me find some books and we can go. Sam's telling the lady off that's blocking our way. Yeah, he's doing Why that. Why can't you park that one? <laughs> See, that's how he does it. He just talks to them quietly to me. So complains about them to me. The job, dude. It's a guy. Driving. Mm -hmm. it's a it's a guy. Okay, so that was a bust. I did not get very many good books. Um, the other one is Mocking Jay, Sam. But I did get two of the Hun Hunger Games books. I think she did see the first movie and wasn't in love with it, but the movie was nothing like the books. I read the books like in a day. So I got the first. Uh, I've got the first and the third of the Hunger Games, so I'll have to get, get the second one. But we're going to go to another store and I'm going to look for more books. Comment below, what is your all-time favorite book or favorite series that is at Gabby's level? I have a lot of younger kid books and they got a lot of books for Christmas, actually. Did we show you guys that? That they got books for Christmas? They got um, more books in the series that they both read. What's it called? Uh, Pony Club Rivals, I think it maybe was. So um, they have those, but I, I, Gabby's really getting into all the other books. She reads a lot. You guys might not know that about her, but she is a reader. She's almost done the Twilight group of books. So, and those are all huge books. So I just need books geared toward her. Um, guys, look at all these Christmas cards we got from the P.O. box. That is incredible. I can't believe it. All these are Christmas cards. Thank you. I have goosebumps. They're condolence cards, not Christmas cards and I literally have goosebumps this lady named Linda wrote in this card that she she said like things is, she said I've never thought I see I can't even I never thought I would be sending people I don't really know a card but I do know you I've been in your shoes so many times in your vlogs that I feel like a third child but I'm 61 she said she's sorry about Stella. She watches daily because she enjoys a relaxing cup of coffee in the morning along with all of us. And when she saw the rainbow word, she seriously gasped because she's been there too. And the reason that this gives me so many goosebumps is because never in my life did I think that so many people would love us and know us and understand us and feel with us. Like she showed a picture of her on her horse and she, and she said it's her storm. And just knowing that there are so many people out there that can relate to us and that share with us and that appreciate with us. Like, I love Storm so much for all that he gives us and to know that other people can recognize that in him. Like, I don't know how to explain it, you guys. Imagine if, imagine, I just, Thank you, thank you Linda for the beautiful card and for the beautiful photo and to B and to, I'm gonna sh share some more of them, to all of you guys who sent me condolences cards, literally know that they affected me in a strong way, not because of my loss, but because how incredible it is to have you guys in my life. Like I can't even, I can't even explain it. I can't even imagine when you have something so incredible and then other people share it with you. It's like a feeling that I can't even describe. It's incredible and taking the time to send me us uh, letters, sharing your story and commiserating with us in our laws. 
is overwhelming and beautiful to me, so thank you. Okay, so I'm at another store, still looking at books. May not seem fun for you, but this is fun for me. This is what I want to do when my kids are not here. They hate shopping, this kind of shopping. They hate just looking and being quiet and being calm. And I love getting what I want. It finally happened. I feel like I won the lottery. Literally, best book ever written on earth. It's by Stephanie Meyer. She wrote the Twilight book. This was like a standalone she wrote. It's called The Host. It's this big. I read it in like three days. I couldn't even stop. I read it at, we used to have a trailer a long time ago and I read it there. I read it in three days. I couldn't even put it down. It was so good. I know Gabby will love it. And I've been looking for it for a long time and I can never find it. And today I found four. I found four of them. I'm so excited. Okay, so now we're out for lunch because that's also what we do when we don't have the kids. And I wanted to show you guys all the beautiful things that came today. So I got all of these things. I got pictures, beautiful pictures, and cards, homemade cards of Stella Bell, Ryder Richardson, you guys know him, he sent a Christmas card. This beautiful Christmas card. Look at how gorgeous this family is. I got all these cards. Dance in heaven. I read them all and I just want to thank every single one of you for, for being so thoughtful and so kind and sharing in our sadness with Stella. Thank you guys. This for sure is going to find a spot in our house. It is. It's gorgeous. And in keeping with our diet, we're eating diet food. Not. <laughs> Let me show them. Look at that. We just got home. Could be lunch time. <laughs> Whoops. I always believe that God has a plan for everybody and being able to look ahead and see the plan is such an amazing gift. Let me explain. After you have come to a point where you see the way God works, eventually you're able to... Hi, guy. Hi, princess. Hi, ponies. Hi. Hi, are you trying to tell me something? Horses tell. Horses, horses do not keep secrets. After following God's lead for as much of my life as I can remember, it's easy now for me to look at things differently and see what he's thinking before he actually tells me, or at least I try to. And I truly do feel like the next horse that's coming to us is a chestnut. Like I just, I feel it. Sometimes I'm wrong when I'm guessing God's plan and not when God tells me his plan, but when I'm guessing I am sometimes wrong. I feel like it's a chestnut. And how looking for horses works with us is that both of our trainers will let us know when they find a horse that they think could work. And then one or the other will go and check it and try it. Fiona will usually take us, which we were supposed to do tomorrow, but now Brandon's just gonna go and try it. So then once they try it, they'll decide if it's acceptable or not. This is what I missed yesterday, you guys. Watch, are you gonna do it? Oh, yesterday she was licking me, licking me. Do it. No, anyways. Um, so, Brandon is going to try this bay that Gabby said she didn't like because he was 16'3", but don't, but she'll get over that. She just fell in love with Johnny so much. Johnny is sold, going to a new home now. So, then there's another horse that Brandon found, and it is a chestnut gelding, and I like him, and I don't know if he's meant for us, but I'm telling you guys, there could be another horse one time soon, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. All right, you ready for lunch? She's like, just get me the good darn lunch. <laughs> she knows where it is. She knows where it is. Um, so like I told you guys, we keep this door closed now because I'm afraid she'll jump in to try and get the food uh, before Stella left. I was so much more brave than that. I was more, so much more trusting. Now I'm like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. I don't even trust you. Even though I love you, I don't trust you. Let's get you some food. I make her back up every single time. Get back it up. People think that I'm afraid. I'm not afraid anymore. This horse is scared of me. <laughs> hey. I watch you as you try. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help. 
but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but She's so funny because Stella, who I love to death Oh god, that's not a good phrase Stella, who I love so much she would follow me around and take bites of the hay out of my hands. I trusted her and I knew she would never do anything to hurt me. But she always did that. And so with Skye, who know, I know needs training and I want her to always be, you know, well trained and um, have respect for us. She, she's so good. I literally have to do the most minor thing to get her to behave and she's just such a good horse. Um, Another thing I wanted to tell you guys that's so crazy to me is that she's my horse. Remember I said I did not want a horse? Um, and God works in mysterious ways. He has kept Gabby away from the barn for whatever reasons. And, uh, and she and I have been bonding like crazy and it's just been incredible. Like I want to take her right now and go for a long walk. I, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the challenge of Sky. Gab Gabby's gonna obviously have to ride her, but I'm in love with her. And I really believe she's meant for me. It's incredible how God knows what you need even when you think that you know better and that you don't need it. So I guess Sam was not happy with all of his Christmas presents. So today, he bought himself something new. Well, that's it. Feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. There goes Stormy Boy. Camp is over. He looks like he's riding a lot. He looks tired. Okay. Oh, are you cold? I know. That's what happens during. You almost fell off. I'm so fucking. She didn't smack him to tell him no. Sorry, bucks now. So did you smack him and tell him no? So Gabby schooled him. Here's Finn's new bet. I'm gonna buy one. Fell him. Pelham. 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 So I need to get this. It has all these bits. So how did he do in it? Really good. So was he like, could you slow him down? Yeah. All that time we struggled, struggled, so struggled. What did you notice that was different? Because he can't actually run away from it. He can't run away from it? So was he slow? Like did he slow down? And oh, I'm glad. I'm happy for you, Gabby. There's nothing worse than being frustrated. I'm gonna get a wild Mustang. You yeah, know. Yes. And Brandon also, will help us with it. Mm, sure. Don't you know that I would? Cause I just love it.